Hi, I'm Robin Ziegler. I'm the Historic Zoning Administrator for the Metro Historic Zoning Commission. This presentation is just to provide you with a little bit of an overview for our project to consolidate all of the neighborhood conservation zoning overlays. There are some additional videos which provide a little more detailed information. This first one is just to provide you with an overview. The Historic Zoning Commission received funding from the Tennessee Historical Commission for this project, which we began back in January 2019, and that grant period has since ended. There have been multiple community meetings and multiple public hearings um, held with the intent of finally voting on the project in March, uh, but of course that meeting was canceled due to COVID. So at the time of this recording, it has not been scheduled for an agenda yet. So please do keep up with our agendas on our website. You can sign up to receive a notice of when those are available. Metro Nashville has 22 neighborhood conservation zoning overlays, and those are all have their own individual set of design guidelines that are largely similar. While well, having just um, a different set of design guidelines for each district really worked great for us for a long time where there were just a handful. Today, again, we have 22 separate documents and that can get a little bit cumbersome. So again, the idea is to consolidate these various guidelines into one document while still preserving the important differences between the neighborhoods. This project will only be reviewed by the Historic Zoning Commission. For those of you that were part of the process of getting your overlay established, uh, because it was changing zoning, it also went to planning, it also went to council. This is not changing zoning, it's just a revision of the guidelines. So it will just be reviewed by uh, the Metro Historic Zoning Commission. This, the, our original document and all of our revisions must meet the Secretary of Interior standards which were developed by the National Park Service. The project is only for some of our neighborhood conservation zoning overlays and does not affect other types of historic overlays. So no new overlays are part of this proposal. No boundary changes are part of this proposal. If you don't live or own in an existing conservation, neighborhood conservation zoning overlay currently, then this project really won't apply to you. There are multiple goals for this project. One is to provide clear direction for property owners and applicants. Again, all of the guidelines are almost exactly the same as a set that we created decades ago, and a lot has changed over the year in terms of how the commission interprets those guidelines and what the neighborhoods want. And so we think it'll be useful to reflect those changes in the language of the guidelines. Along the same lines in the current guidelines, some sections are primarily italicized language and that needs to be updated. Italicized language is information that we've added uh, to the guidelines without a formal process to explain how the commission has interpreted existing design guidelines. So the goal is to make most of those uh, italicized language uh, formally part of the guidelines in this process. Another goal is to address actions that we just didn't think about back in the day when the guidelines were first written. We also think this project will make the process easier for those applicants, particularly those applicants who are uh, frequent applicants. Um, it helps them to better understand what the guideline, which guidelines are universal to all the conservation zoning overlays and what, if any, differences there may be for individual neighborhoods. We propose to change the title of the consolidated design guidelines to clarify that it's for turn of the century neighborhoods, roughly 1890s to 1950s. So these are the natural neighborhoods where Queen Anne, Folk Victorian, uh, Craftsman Bungalow, Cottages, Tudors, and minimal traditional houses are pretty common. We're currently working with a neighborhood of mid 20th century buildings that's primarily ranch houses. And so as you might imagine, those guidelines really need to be significantly different because the styles are different, the forms are different, and the development pattern is different. So we're currently working on a second set of consolidated for that particular era that's not a part of this project right now. The draft guidelines are divided into two parts. Part one is the majority of the guidelines and it includes guidance that applies to all of the districts. And then part two includes a chapter for every individual district with any of the guidelines that may be specific to that district. So that concludes our overview of the project. Please view the other videos for more specific information. You can also visit, visit nashville.gov for drafts, section by section comparisons for each district, information about the process, meeting notes, and there's some additional resources. 
And you can send us comments. We have a variety of ways, as you can see here. And this information is also on our website at nashville.gov. Thanks for joining me today.